He wants peanuts. Always wants the peanuts. That's his favorite treat. Oh. And then his, his favorite vegetable is corn on the cob. Okay. And his favorite fruit is probably either banana or grape. <laughs> yeah. So cute. Yeah. Yeah, you think, buddy? Hey, buddy. Yeah, so I'll just, yeah. Uh, this is Corey. <laughs> Corey is 23 years old, soon to be 24 on March 29th. Um, he is one of the four scarlet macaws here we have at the zoo, and they are actually all one big family. Um, so Corey's parents live in the tropical aviary. Uh, their names are Jimmy and Rhoda, and they've been at the zoo for a very long time, definitely over 30 years or so, and they've been a bonded pair almost that entire time and 23 years ago they had Corey and his sister Mora. Uh, so Mora is also 23 and these guys um, they actually don't really talk uh, out of uh, all the macaws here at the zoo the scarlet macaws are pretty much the only ones that just make all of these sounds. Uh, we do have a blue and gold that is a little bit more of a chatterbox, box but he did come from someone's home these guys uh, were born here and we don't really uh, go out of our way to teach them words. We want them to be as natural as possible. Um, so he, as you can see, is just making all those macaw sounds. He's really excited. He's very talkative. He likes to talk when I talk. <laughs> That's one of his favorite things to do. You want something else in there? Yeah. No, we don't. Yeah, he has the, he has the longest tail of all the scarlet macaws here. <laughs> and I always tell him he has bragging rights for that. Yeah. He's a very good boy. He does live by himself. Um, he seems to be more interested in the company of keepers than he does the company of other parrots. Uh, him, and his, him and his sister Mora used to actually live together, uh, but we did separate them a few years back. Um, it was just clear that they were not meant to live together. So uh, that's when Mora was able to go and pair off with another macaw and then Corey ended up bonding to his keepers. Um, and he is definitely one of our ambassador animals. And as you can tell, he, he just keeps talking. He has lots to say all the time. Yeah. Whoa.